In today's video, I'm going to go over how to stake your HNT to earn rewards. I'm going to also link so that you can read more in detail about the Helium VHNT token, how it works, the sub DAOs, and a little bit more in detail as far as the delegation and how the delegation is going to work. On Twitter, there are six posts to kind of explain what we're going to be doing here and why we want to do it, hopefully within the next day, to earn a multiplier because of the land rush. According to HIP70 and 77, HNT holders have 10 days following the Solana migration for a land rush bonus of three times the locked amount. There are 2.5 days left in the land rush period, but this is not correct. It is now 4-27-2023, so you have about a day left. I'll go on to the second message. Early stakers will receive three times the amount of voting escrowed HNT called VHNT, which is used for governance and delegation to sub DAOs. Lock-in HNT allows individuals to influence how changes are made to the Helium protocol and the future of global decentralized wireless participation in the land rush period increases that influence. Additionally, delegating VHNT to a sub DAO allows stakers to receive rewards for that sub DAO in the form of its token. You must be delegated for a full Helium epoch to receive rewards for that epoch. And there are more details here. Any amount of HNT is eligible to lock and establish VHNT position. This encourages new participants into our ecosystem, and any position can be locked up for four years. Validators receive a default position of six months, which can be extended. The land rush period ends at 2359 UTC on April 28, 2023. All HNT stake before this time will be eligible for a 3x VHNT bonus. Transferring tokens out of land rush positions will forfeit the bonus on tokens transferred out. And you can learn more about stake in and VHNT governance and the Solana migration by joining the Helium Discord on diving into the Helium docs. And I'll have the links in the description on how you can find more information out about this. First thing we are going to do is we're going to open up our Helium wallet. Once we get our wallet open, we can scroll the bottom part of the screen up to display how much HNT, mobile, IoT, and soul. You are going to need a little bit of soul for the transaction fees on completing the staking process of your HNT. If you do not have enough soul in your Helium wallet, I do have other videos that shows you how to add soul to your Helium wallet. Okay. Down at the bottom bar area, we are currently on this little dollar sign area, the main screen. We're going to come over to this world icon and select it. And then we're gonna be provided with a couple of different options on things that we can do. I've got other videos that shows what these other things are for, but the one that we are focused on is the very top one, which is gonna be the Dow HNT. Now you will also see Dow Mobile and Dow IoT. You can do the exact same thing that I'm doing with HNT with these guys by just replacing what I'm doing with HNT. So again, we're going to go up to the Dow HNT and we're going to select it. Once this comes up, we are going to need to connect our Helium wallet. If your Helium wallet is not showing up, just tap this drop down arrow and select your Helium wallet. So just press the connect button. After pressing the connect button, you're going to select connect. This is going to connect your Helium wallet to this uh, part of the program. Now I've already gone through this process. So you're going to see a couple of stakes that I've already done. For you, you won't see this. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, in the my governance power, this view box, we're going to simply select view. And it's going to take us to the next screen. Okay. On the next screen, if you have already locked up 
you know, HNT, you're going to see some of this information. You won't have this. What you're going to do is this lock tokens icon. You're going to select this. And you're going to be taken to what type of lockup you want to do. There's decaying and then there's constant. There, what you can do is select what are the different types of lockups. So on the decay end, tokens are locked for a fixed duration and are released at in full at the end of it. Your vote weight declines literally until release. So for example, you lock up 10 or 10,000 tokens for two years. They are unavailable for the next two years. After this time, you can withdraw them again. Now the constant tokens are locked indefinitely. So at any time you can start the unlock process, which lasts for the initially chosen lockup duration. For example, you lock up 10,000 tokens with a lockup duration of one year. After two years, you decide to start the unlocking process. Another year after that, you can withdraw the tokens. So in essence, the unlock process doesn't even start until you initiate it. So if you said that you wanted to lock up your tokens for one year or three years or four years, that process does not start until you click the unlock button. So what we're gonna do is, again, when I, I did the X out, I'm gonna click lock tokens again. I'm gonna choose decaying because I don't wanna worry about this. I just want it to unlock automatically. If you don't want it to unlock automatically, choose constant, but I'm gonna choose decaying. Now the amount that you wanna lock up, you can put one, you can put whatever you want. You can even do max. And just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna choose, I'll choose 15. Now, what you're gonna choose is, do you wanna lock it up for six months, one year, two year, three year, four year? And what you can see is your multiplier. As you select different years, see when I go to, um, scroll it back out, when I select from six months, watch this, it jumps up 25 times to one year, 50 times to two year, three year, and four year. You can see the multiplier, the multiplier that you get, okay? I'm locking up 15, you get 100 times. Let's just say I choose one year. After selecting that, you will just select lock tokens. Now this will uh, pop up this box. You're gonna simply select approve. Now this process is gonna happen very fast. And there is one more step that we need to do after this for you to receive your rewards, okay? Now. Once you go back to the main screen, like what's happening right here, after it's refreshed, you're going to scroll down. Now the first one, this is what I just did, but I wanna show you the difference in the other ones. That one's 15, that's why I did a different amount. And you'll notice it says land rush. This land rush is only available for the next, you know, until tomorrow, about 24 hours from now. After that, you won't have this. Now you'll notice that it says delegate right here. This is the big part that we wanna focus on. I'll come down to the next one, the five HNT that I did before whenever I was practicing this. It says undelegate and I've already chosen what I wanted to, uh, what I wanted to delegate to. And then this was another one that I practiced with. So we'll come back up to the 15 that we just did. And what we're gonna choose is this delegate button. So select delegate after choosing Delegate is gonna ask us to select an existing subdial to delegate to. Once delegated, you can't perform any actions on this position until you undelegate. So we can choose IOT, mobile. I'm gonna just simply choose IOT. You can choose whichever one that you want. After selecting it, select delegate tokens. It's gonna ask us to approve. And Pretty quickly, it's locked up. You have now delegated. And if you just want to confirm, you can kind of scroll through and look at all the uh, locked up tokens that you have have done in the past. Again, you can do you can do even just one. Just go through and do a, a bunch of ones. Do some IoT, some mobile, whatever it is. And this is how you lock up or stake your HNT again. If you do this uh, within the next 24 hours, you can get this land rush multiplier. 
However, if you don't, you're not going to get that multiplier. Okay. One last thing. If you want to check up on the status or you want to go in to make changes or just to look at what you currently have staked, what you can do is just open up your Helium wallet, come across the bottom over here to the world icon. And again, come up to, if you staked HNT, go there or mobile, go there, or IOT there. We'll come to the HNT because that's what we staked. It's going to ask us to connect our Helium wallet. Once it loads, I'm going to press connect. Agree, connect it. And now it's going to load our positions and we can look at them, modify them. And I'll have the links to the documents so you can decide on whether or not you want to unstake them or you want to make changes to your position. And again, uh, what you'll do to uh, look, you'll come right here to the view tab to go into your positions. Okay, once that comes up, we're going to scroll down and you can see your lock positions, the five HNT that I did the 10 HNT and the 15. And that's it. Thanks for watching.